these are few interview questions that can be only answered by an experienced developer so let's move on to the first question that is if we override a quick action with lwc will we be able to get the current records id now let's say you have an lwc component and what do you want to do is you have added a quick action and you have overridden that quick action with a lwc component and now once you click on that particular button what do you want is you want the current records id let's say you are an opportunity then in that case you want the opportunities record id so question is will i be able to get that current record id so answer is actually yes you will be able to get the current record id the only difference is you won't be able to get the current records id inside the connected callback so let's say if you are going to create a button and on the load of the component you want the record id right usually we want the record id on the load of the component so you won't be able to get the record id inside the connected callback but you will be able to get the same record id inside the wire i have demonstrated the same with the real time example in the upcoming videos in this friday's video you will be or thursday video you will be able to see the real time example of it as well so let's move on to the next question the next question is that let's say if we are going to make a call out system call out to an external system right so there is system a and there is a system b now in how much time we will be able to receive we must receive the response so basically let's consider there is a system a and there is a system b right a and there is b now what you are doing is you are trying to make a call out from a to the b right to receive the data to put the data or post the data or whatever it might be so if you are making a call out from a to b of course if b is not responding at all let's say you make a call out from a to b and you are expecting b will send something back but let's say a b did not send something back so your salesforce org won't wait forever right salesforce org will make a call out it will wait for response but for a very stipulated time and that stipulated time is 120 seconds right that stipulated time is exactly 2 minutes so if you are going to make a call out a is going to make a call out to b it's going to exactly wait for 120 seconds to receive the response if it's not able to get that response it won't wait any more and it will response as a failure right so it will only wait for 120 seconds now the next question is completely related to this one the same question but even before moving to the next question if you are not feeling confident before going to any of the interview you can have a one to one mock interview with me by clicking the top mid link below so let's move on to the next question that what if we do not get the response in the stipulated time so the question is that let's say you have a system a and system b now what you want to do is you are trying to make a call out from system a to system b now you are not able to get let's say a made a call out to b and you are not able to get the response within 120 seconds now what because every system let's say banking system or any other system you cannot expect every system to respond within 120 seconds there can be delays there can be server issues or there can be multiple issues right so in such cases what would be the solution so the answer to this question is platform events okay so what you can do is using platform events you can make a call out and this whenever you are going to get the response back from the external system you can subscribe it to the or you can enroll it to the platform event that platform event is going to update the same data in our salesforce org so simply what's going to happen is that we made a call out and whenever the response is available with the system it will respond it back to the platform event and that platform event is going to respond us back to the salesforce org so in this way salesforce org has to not wait for a longer period of the time to get the response back So this was all about the interview questions that I had to discuss in this video. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.